Okay, so this is probably the number one question I'm asked about Microsoft Edge, and that is how do you customize it so that when you open up a new tab, it goes to Google or the website of your choice instead of Bing? Well, stick around. Full details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So Microsoft Edge is obviously owned by Microsoft. They also own MSN and Bing. And what they want to do is they want to basically direct all of your searches, all of your start pages, all of your new tabs to their own websites rather than competitors' websites. But there is a way to change the new tab page and the search and the start page. I'm going to go through all of those in this video. But first of all, we're going to have a look at new tabs. So when we click on the plus just there, as you can see, we go to MSN's web page. Now, it's lovely MSN's web page. There's lots of news articles, but some people, including myself, do like a plain basic Google page or something that's that's just of their choice rather than Microsoft's. So to be able to do this, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download an add-on. Now, don't worry, this add-on is perfectly safe. It is actually in the Microsoft Edge App Store, so it has been passed for validity. So let's just have a look how we get to it. So what we do is we click on the three dots just up there in the top right hand corner. That brings us up this menu. Go down to extensions just there and left click once on it and then go down to manage extensions just at the bottom of the box there and left click once. Then we need to go across to the left here to get extensions for Microsoft Edge. Click on that and then you should be presented with this page here. Now, what we need to do is we need to click into this search box just up there in the top left, and we want to type in that search box, custom space new space tab. That's custom new tab. Once you've done that, press enter or return on your keyboard then you should see a list of search results come up. Now, you might need to scroll down a bit. What we're looking for is we're looking for this one here, the one with the black and white icon with the wrench in the uh, in the folder. All we need to do is click on get just over to the right of it. And if you want to make sure it is the right one, just make sure that name matches there. Multijour, I think it is. Make sure it's from that person there. Click on get, that's a left click. And then once you see this box come up at the top of the screen saying add custom new tab to Microsoft Edge, then click on add extension just there. OK, once it's added, OK, it comes up in the top right hand corner to help protect your browser settings. Microsoft Edge has turned off the custom new tab extension. So already they're trying to stop you from using this extension because it's going to stop you from going to their own web page and it's going to take you to the web page of your choice rather than theirs. So we need to turn this on. So to do that, we click on the three dots in the top right hand corner there, go down to extensions and click on extensions and then click on manage extensions just at the bottom of the box there. And then we just turn this switch on just here, just to the right of custom new tab. So turn that on. There you go. That goes blue and the little dot goes to the right. And then we want to go across to details just here, just below custom new tab. Click on details and then go down to the bottom here and click on extension options and click on that. You'll be presented with this screen here. So click into the box where it says enter new tab URL here. And now this is where you're going to type the address of whatever you want to come up whenever you click on the plus up there. So I'm going to set it as Google. So I'm going to type in there HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. OK, now you can put in whatever you like. If you want a more regional version of Google, then you can put in your own version of Google, i.e. if you're in 
the UK, you'd put www.google.co.uk. If you're in Ireland, you'd put www.google.ie. If you're in Spain, you'd do www.google.es. If you're in France, it'd be google.fr, etc. You know what I mean. So once you've typed in whatever website you want it to go to, when you click on the plus just up there, click on save just there. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close down uh, Edge and we're going to open it up again. And as you can see, as soon as I've opened it up, Google has opened up instead of Microsoft's own homepage. And when I click on a plus there, there we go. We get Google come up instead of Bing, MSN or Microsoft's own homepage. Now, if you wanted to change that at any time, then what you can do is you can go click on the three dots again in the top right hand corner, go to extensions, go to custom new tab just up the top there and click on the three dots just to the right of custom new tab and go to extension options. Click on that and here you can change the page. So say if I wanted to go to Yahoo, for instance, so I'm just going to type in Yahoo's website and then click save. And then if I come out of edge and go back into it again, and there we go, as you can see, I've gone to Yahoo. So I just click on the plus and there you go, Yahoo again. But what if I wanted a different start page? So what if I wanted my first page to be different from the new tab page? So say if I wanted Google to be my uh, my my start page instead of Yahoo, I just wanted Yahoo as the new tab page. I can click on the three dots just up there in the top right hand corner, go down to settings. So keep going down to settings, click settings, and then go down to start home and new tabs on the left there, click that. And here we go. I can say here when Microsoft Edge starts, open these pages and there I've already added Google in there. But if I didn't have Google in there, I could add a new page and enter the web address of the page I want to start from. OK, I can also in there set a home button as well. So I can turn on the home button, which puts the home button just up there in the top left hand corner of Edge and I can type in the page I want to go to when I click the home button. So let's just do that. Let's just try typing in, I don't know, the BBC's home page when I click on the home button. So we're going to have a varied uh, amount of pages here. So let's just close it all down, open it back up again and just check it's worked. So there you go. I've got Google as a start page. If I click on the plus there, I've got Yahoo as my new tab page. And if I click on the home button there, I've got bbc.co.uk as my home page. So there you go. Now, if I search for something in the address bar at the top of the screen, let's just have a look, see how it searches. So it uses Bing to search. But say if I didn't want Bing, say if I wanted a different search provider, then all I need to do is go up to the three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen. Click that. Go down to settings and click on settings and then go to privacy search and services. OK and scroll right the way down to the bottom of this page here. Go to address bar and search. Click on that. And here we can choose what search engine we want to use. So I've got a choice here of Yahoo, Google or DuckDuckGo. So let's just click on Google there. And there we go. It's going to search using Google. Let's just try it out. So let's just go into this and I'm going to type in news again in the search bar at the top of the screen or the address stroke search bar. Hit enter or return on the keyboard. And there we go. It goes into Google. It's just going to ask me to accept the cookie notice. And there we go. It searches in Google. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can set your new tab page, your home page and your start page and also your search page to really customize Edge to make it work for you. I hope this guide helps. And if it did, why not stick around? Have a look through my videos. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you like this video. And if you did, 
hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and my website at CWTech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.